I hope you guys are all being blessed this morning. We're going to check in here, see what we're working with on this morning. Again, y'all, I'm in my living room and um, this mug is getting fogged up from sage or whatever because energy's been so heavy and people all around is just it's so much coming up and it's so much that these divine films are dealing with um it could be like younger and older fem feminines um it's some younger ones that um have been feeling very lonely uh this particular film could have been uh raised uh, um born with a like a defect or whatever but it didn't stop their abilities to use their giftings you're very intuitive you're you're very um, chosen by God, and you're going to begin to uh, see this very soon. Um, no matter <clears throat> of the abilities or, you know, the disabilities that you thought that you had, or whatever, um, you could have been brought up in where, you know, you was rejected or abandoned or brought up in foster homes or someone else raised you other than your parent because your parent was like maybe on drugs or something. Um, you uh, lived in the home with whomever this foster or a uh, second to kin, sec I mean, uh, related to your parent or whatever but uh you moved out you know it's been a couple of years or before you were trying to find someone somewhere else to go because you felt that they were depriving your uh space or something of that nature you you are a card reader um and uh you deal with a lot of difficulties that you so you Use all of your energy or whatever to put out readings or whatever to put out love into the universe. Um, but you have became very, um, like, um, tuned in to these cards. Um, you could have, like, had to do things that you didn't really too much, uh, you, you're, you aren't happy about or whatever to get money in the past or whatever now you have your own little space and that helps you um um aries and they know that they they know that they messed up aries is here they know that they messed up um I don't know. God is telling me or whatever. If you tapped into, uh, you know, darkness or you did some things or whatever to get ahead or whatever, um, you still can repent for what you have done. I'm getting that money could be stagnated. Or it will be, I'll tell you what, I'm going to redo these cards and shuffle some more. Because I don't want to just um, be getting things out. Um, stability, right? Okay, y'all. Sorry, I, I'm. I got to 
get these. Okay, y'all, I have to fix these cards. Okay, guys. Cormac's haters, they're checking your social media. They're frenemies. The baby isn't his. Scorpio. They are lying and manipulating the Cormac's. It's chlamydia and syphilis and gonorrhea. They are lying and manipulating the cormics. So I'm getting, what I'm getting is someone could be or have a STD. It's a Capricorn. This could be a person that have these STDs. A Virgo is involved. They're jealous of your new relationship. Someone is jealous of your relationship. This could be a person that you were with in the past or whatever that um, 
that could have been incarcerated that have gotten out right now and they're jealous. A Capricorn could be involved. A Capricorn could be around somewhere. They called the police on a Sagittarius. Someone then called the police on a Sagittarius. This, what I'm getting here is this could be, ooh, a toxic person or whatever, and their family member or whatever have called the uh, police on them because they've been getting drunk, lying, stealing, manipulating. This person could be highly sexual, highly uh, prone to, you know, being toxic and in the streets, but they're awakening to like things that they have accumulated for themselves in the past. They had sex with another person other than the Cormix. So this person could have been in a connection or is in a made up connection or something of that nature, but they have had sex with someone else. What I'm getting is all of these people are Cormix and you could be connected somehow. This could be a Cormix masculine. <coughs> that you were with in the past. Uh, the, the signs that are here are Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, and um, they call it STD. So STD is heavily in here. Uh, a karma could be jealous because you know, they could be fairly young or whatever. They were fairly young, but they were a person that was a bit out there. And they have caught in STDs before. Their heart is broken. This is a person that their heart is broken. Okay, y'all, we're going to clarify... They're Cormix, the Cormix, they're check. So just know that it is a lot of Cormix haters that is around you. They're checking your social media. They want to know what's going on with you. This could, uh, it got frenemies in here, but what I'm getting is this could even be family members or whatever that stay in a competition with you all the time or whatever, like. This could be family members or whatever that feel like they got to do everything or try to put themselves in the spotlight. Like they like just always they're always trying to keep up with you and do things. You know, they copy the stuff you do, but they try to make like they they're doing it better or they're doing much better than you and they're not. It's just an illusion. Like this person is refusing to heal and they come around just to try to show you stuff and it'd be stuff like things that you're doing or whatever that you're doing in the physical that they just have taken and patched it up and try to make it seem like it's something that they're doing. They check your social media. You could have like these, this person could probably not like be on your uh, your friends list or a friend of yours, but they make fake profiles and some of them is on a fake profile watching you. This could even be family members. Someone is feeling sorrowful or uh, whatever that's checking your social media that could be a past person that you used to date that um, is a sociopath or whatever. They feel like a fool. Whoever this is or whatever that's checking your social media here in the near future, these people are stuck. They want a partnership or this could be a person that want a partnership with you that you put a death to. Um, they're frenemies. They're really not your friend. This person could have pre pretended as though they were your friend, but they really wasn't. But now they feel like a fool because... Um, they, they know that they're starting to see now that you are the person that you, uh, deemed to be or whatever, but, uh, they try to present you as though you wasn't, you wasn't this type of person. This is not you. 
it's impossible. You can't be. You aren't here. You, you know, you don't focus on your healing, your spirituality and doing things better in life for yourself or whatever. This person just refused to believe that you was that person, that you were, you was that person person like i'm getting scorpio here twice so this could be a person that you have cut off or a person that feels stuck to you now or feel that they are they want a partnership with you or they could feel like a fool because this is a person that you gave a chance or whatever or you know you show love to but they took your comments for weakness yeah, you spoke this to whoever this Scorpio is. You were enlightened by some things. This person had all sorts of addictions. This person could be seen in a great view of light, but they're really not that person. Like, it's all a mask. It's a facade or whatever. You uh, spoke your truth. You were very cutty or whatever you told them or whatever you kept telling them that you were going to leave from their presence or whatever you you know but they kept doing things or whatever to get up under your skin or kept trying to deny you like you wasn't the person that was worthy or something of this nature yeah this person was flighty a knight of swords they could have been being cutty back with you they backstabbed you several times you uh the higher front is here or whatever to let them know or whatever with the one or whatever that judgment did step in or God stepped in some type of way and now this person is in hangman because they're in hermit they want you to be equal and work with them this could have been in a job partnership or something of that nature or whatever that could have grown into something else but it didn't get up off the ground is what I'm getting like it could have got off the ground all of the ground all of the getting up was your energy lifting people up and bringing them up or whatever these people thought they were in a high beam of light and that they were doing something and speaking a good game and had all this wisdom and knowledge and it wasn't true like they were walking spiritually blind and now they're being enlightened they could have treated you unfairly like to do with race as well and like listen to other people and called you out to be the bad person and kept backstabbing you this person's family friends and this group setting kept doing cutty ugly stuff to you and relaying messages and it was several people or whatever they backstabbed you like could have been 10 times or whatever you was a flat line when you finished with this shit you was flatlining it and it was all for them to take your abundance you seen the light and you started walking away from it because you were the light in this situation. Yes, these uh, this could be a person that is seen in a great light, got a high status quota, but they got dark entities all uh, around them. This person illusion is that they make themselves seem high up and that they're more than everyone else due to a job and people praising them. But it's negative energies that this person was never being cleansed from daily or whatever that was parading them on and boosting their pride and their ego and keeping them stuck as well as you know as they try to do to others they do this to several people or whatever you can't tell them anything it's their way or the highway people boost them up and you know because this could be a handsome uh nice looking person that have money that is an entrepreneur that, again, I say seen in the spotlight. Yeah, you were passionate about this person or this person was passionate about belittling you for someone else that burnt they ass. They burnt them like fish grease. This uh, queen of wands and you had spoken this to them. And it's almost like they, they're in a blaze of fire right now just thinking about this because you had spoken this. Yeah, you are the empress. Or whatever you had spoken this to them this person went out there and had sex and caught chlamydia and syphilis or whatever um you had told this person yeah the tower came their tower was the std and you uh being the empress and you being the jack of all trades 
you could have spoken this. You were very intuitive or uh, whatever. But like, again, I'll say I uh, started off or whatever. You know, it's some young people that need healing or whatever. You are using your gifting. You could be a card reader or whatever. But uh, it's a lot of times you feel lonely or whatever and feel alone. You thought before, you know, the reason why you started uh, using cards or whatever, um, Reading cards was because, you know, you could have felt inadequate growing up until you got to uh, be a teenager or adult. You're uh, fairly young still or whatever, but that that message isn't for you. That's to do with this reading. It's just solely for you or whatever. It is some it's some selective few or several younger people out there that could have grown up in foster homes or whatever, and they have a disability, or whatever, but they're gifted, they're very intuitive, or whatever, and they're going to be very prosperous, or whatever, um, they are lying and manipulating the karmas for money, like, this person could be even going to card readers, trying to be tricky, and the magician, and trying to trick you out of your spot, or this person could uh, spy on you daily, or try to get inside of your world, like, to do with uh, you have fought a long, hard battle. The uh, tower is that these people, you are the manifester. You're the empress or whatever. You come with the heat or whatever. They want to defeat, but you come with the heat. They so badly want to. The secret is they want you to fall. They want the tower to fall and things to happen or whatever so that it can knock you off your pivot or whatever because you be hitting the nail on the wall to do with these people. Uh, whatever you know you're very skillful uh to do with spiritual giftings or uh, whatever um you had to turn your back on several people or you're gonna have to turn your back on this community to, to show them you know your energy for real you could be a single person that work hard for your family or whatever uh people could be going and paying people to try to snoop around in your chart and in your uh your thing to try to find out things about you or whatever um, and put it out or whatever to make them look skillful, but they're not or whatever. They are getting readings on you and pulling up your energy or whatever. And someone is behind it. It is someone that's watching you very closely, um, keeping an eye on you. People that, yeah, that you have been fighting on the internet or in your community spiritually or whatever and it's beginning to be burdensome this could be cap a uh, capricorn could be involved in this people could have like someone high up in a high rank like they could be dealing with illuminatis and different things like that to fight with you a virgo and a capricorn you're gonna uh, keep fighting is what i'm getting because you're gonna be victor victorious or whatever um you're going to get to your wish fulfillment to do with your Ten of Cups. Uh, these people fought you on the internet in your community, tried to make you look small. Uh, they're trying to uh, 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 find out things about you, scoop up in your home. They want to know things about you, but this person themselves need healing. Uh, again, I state they could be a card reader or whatever that this person is paying this person to do these things or whatever and try to look inside your information. It's all in regarding this person have always, these are selfish people that could be dealing with the Illuminati. They come from the dark side, but you're going to have a wish fulfillment in your home life, your family life or whatever. You're going to be victorious. These people wanted you up with anxiety, but they're up with anxiety going to card readers, trying to, uh, They've been watching you and things like that or uh, whatever. So be careful or uh, whatever. Uh, these people could be have tapped into your your email, your Gmail, um, all kinds of things. They have could could have had a skillful person to uh, try to get inside your information or uh, whatever. These are all addictive people. They could be addictive to uh, a lot of things like money and all of that. Right now, you're embodying the king or whatever, king of pentacles. Uh, king of pentacles could also want to come towards you with the, uh, a family life that you may have a family life with or whatever. This person sits on the throne. This person is about their business. 
This person do not play games. They're going to come when they come. They're going to come. It's several people going to be sick because they gonna, they're going to realize that they missed a, a, a opportunity with you or whatever. Right now, as we speak, they got people going, trying to figure out your information, trying to find out things about you in your home life. They are going to card readers. They are, you know, trying to, they so badly want to know about your information, your stuff. The will is going to turn. They're jealous of your new relationship. They're going to be jealous. The will is going to turn in your favor and it's going to be like as the world motherfucking turn. It, your whole world is about to change or whatever. These karmic people or whatever, they're not going to be able to stop you. Uh, the moon card wanted to fall out. These, uh, Jealous hearted, secretive people that's watching your social media. They could be people that have sexual addictions. They do things from the outer perspective. They don't know anything else. These are people that will go the extra to try to compete with you and keep up with you and try to find out information about you. You are guarded from these people. These people want the fruits of your labor. They see that you're the light or whatever that deem here, or whatever. Someone's going to be heartbroken. Yes, they're heartbroken. And the from the third parties that they called, caused, they did everything in their willpower. Someone is getting the cops called on them. This could be a narcissistic person, again, that I state that, you know, caused a lot of drama in their homes. And it's all due to, like, child molestation. This person was molested, and they can't seem to get over it, or whatever. So, it keep them entrapped and in heartbreaks and they cause third party situations of heartbreaks with everyone around them. Yeah, they're going to be uh, sorrowful or whatever. This could be a fire sign and a water sign that they miss this opportunities with you. These people had sexual addictions. They would go out on dates, meet up with people. They got people in high places that could get them out of trouble in the justice system or whatever, when they would get in trouble and go to jail. They have been doing this long life, karmic, narcissistic behavior for a long time, but they are getting ready to get caught is what I'm getting here. They caught a STD. Yeah. This person, whoever the person was, was that you were dealing with in the past or whatever, they caught a STD or whatever. And, uh, they are up with anxiety. They are figuring out. They are starting to see the things that they did and caused towards you that came back on them real fast. Yes, judgment. They have did a lot of lifelong things. Now they feel the need to feel that they love you um, or whatever. It have been uh, solely about abundance. This person uh, got into karmic connections all the time for uh, to gain money with different karmics. The karmics, different karmics is seeing the light. What I'm getting is all of them is awakening like right about right now. They are, have been spiritually blind in the past, but whatever group setting or whatever enlightenment that you took into this, uh, this place or whatever, where these people were on low vibrations, it could be in your uh, community or on the internet or in a job group setting somewhere or whatever. These people are waking up or whatever. Your spirit have woke awakened a lot of people or whatever. It is people using their giftings or whatever. And they got other people that's trying to get inside of your information. These people are pulling cards on you. These people are some people that are so depleted and drained at times or whatever. They do so many readings. They got the gift to do readings or whatever that they start pulling up their own energies or whatever. Some of the same similar upbringings and things that you went through in life. A lot of these card readers went through the same thing. You can't tell them anything or whatever. People can decide to use their giftings in, uh, you know, in the light or darkness. Some of these people are refusing to heal and they think they know it all. And they're just reading cards or whatever. And yes, they're using their giftings to help other people. But right now in this particular moment, they need healing and they need help or whatever. These are people that is still growing from and they're asking questions like why it isn't a why it is the divine God is requesting calling you uh, down the road path uh, 
of uh, spiritual enlightenment or whatever to clear out all negativity and all things that have kept us burdened burden from uh, uh, a lot of deep rooted uh, traumas that have occurred in our life. Like people with disabilities or whatever that have felt unfortunate, felt, I mean, you know, or felt disliked or this, this person that, uh, I am picking up on, uh, ran to the twin flame room because people have always made them feel inadequate or that they couldn't do anything. And when they got into the twin flame room, they seen that it was good and they started reading cards for people or uh, whatever, but they don't take out the time to heal for themselves or uh, whatever. These people need to be healed from child molestation. They were born with a disability. They were molested. They could have, again, I state, you grew up in foster homes or without parents that you felt that treated you. Your parents could have treated you poorly because of your disability or a speech impairment or something of that nature. Um, but God is telling you, you will, uh, you know, do better and move, uh, you know, greatly or uh, whatever in whatever job or endeavor that you're doing. If it's reading cards, you will be doing great in reading cards or whatever, but you still need to seek healing um, for your heart or whatever. You are very heartbroken or whatever. Uh, you felt that you wasn't going to be able to ever do anything, any, you know, um, but do not write things down and tap on the dark side to try to get ahead or whatever. I'm getting that you have done that or whatever. And uh, some of your help is coming from a place of, you know, um, a place of going to a person or going to do or doing particular things or whatever to get ahead that you felt that you couldn't do alone or whatever. Don't tar uh, uh, tap on negative or the dark side to get ahead or to know things or whatever. Um, don't do spell work or whatever. Um, they want to be with you. Whoever this is, they want to be with you. Your ex wants you back. Your ex wants you back. This could be a person that you have blocked. They only, they chose a Virgo over you. This could be a person that chose a Virgo over you. Someone is pregnant one to three months. Baby, forgive me, 9-11. You could be seeing 9-11. They're bisexual and they... They want to leave the karmic. Be they won't leave the karmic because they have threesomes. Much love, 611. So this person is a karmic energy. Love yourself first. You could be saying 611. They're sleeping with the co-worker. So this is someone that um, on their job or whatever, uh, someone that they work with, they sleep with them. It's money and assets. They can't leave the, uh, toxic relationship. This could be a person that is a job or something. They can't leave it because it brings them money, but it's toxic. Betraying you six months. These people have betrayed you for six months. Someone's trying to steal your ideas and creativity so you in a, a, a group or work setting or whatever, they're stealing your ideas and your creativity. God have prompted you to just walk away or whatever. He has something else for you to do so that they can stop stealing your abundance. Because these are people that don't want you to get ahead, but they're taken from you so that you can stay stagnated and stuck. They want to leave, but don't know how because they the karmic will take their money away from them. What do they want to do? Do they want to leave or stay? Because they are confused. They are lying and they are married. They want to win at all costs. Three, three, three. Nine could be a significant number to you or for you. Uh, they want to win at all costs or whatever. So this could be a person that's 
in a group or work setting or whatever that could be competing with you or trying to win or beat you out at something or whatever. But um, spirit is prompting you to walk away for a while. Don't give them any energy. Don't fight with them. Don't do anything. Just walk away because when you come back, your comeback is going to be hella hard is what I'm getting. So... It's drugs and alcohol and drinking and popping pills. This could be a person that drink alcohol and pop pills. They want to win at all costs. So, love you. Love yourself first. A Scorpio is involved in this. Pray for your divine feminine and masculine. Someone wants to steal your creativities and ideas. They feel comfortable in the relationship because it they get to cheat. So someone, communication and apology is coming in from someone. Focus on yourself. Love yourself and focus on yourself. Someone is in addictions or whatever, but they want to apologize. You're going to get some type of notification or apology from this person. Okay, spiritual mess, uh, divine film. Okay, Anand Ananda Maya, Ma, the joy permitted mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. We're going to read off of that in Akalanda. Akalanda, the goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for a liberate for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. Okay, we're going to read out of the book. Okay, let's see what it says here. Everything happens for a liberation. I choose to become only more love. Akalanda represents the essence of the phoenix. She's the indestructible energy that embraces change. She knows that everything is conspiring to transform her into only more love and light. Akalanda is is an exclusive I mean, elusive goddess from Hindu mythology. Her full name is Akalanda de Shavari Ishvara in Sanskrit means female power or goddess. And Akalanda means never, never not broken. So she is the goddess of never not broken. She can never be broken because she always is. She is the uh, embodiment of embodiment of what we try to avoid the dissolution of our ego's identity her power is unparalleled unparalleled she is radiate she radiates the potent light and joy that's the goal of change transformation or pain there is very little written about her she is meant to be known through experience she is an intimate interior goddess that we meet when we are in the darkest moments of grief and heartbreak she she shows us where our energy is trapped where we have been stifled and routined or others expectations of us and she whispers the 
liberation we will experience once we let ourselves break open and allow the new ex, uh, expression of ourselves to come blazing through. She reminds us that we always have the power to choose to see every event as yet another opportunity to become more light, to become more of the radiant soul we are here to be. When your soul selects her card, many of us exert tremendous energy in the effort to not break or fall apart. We resist our grief, our heartbreak, or we deny the need to change until the choice no longer feels like it's ours. Something sideswipes us in our ordinary life and shatters who we think we are and how we identify ourselves. Here's what Akalanda reminds us. Vulnerability is our greatest strength. If we are always broken, we can never break. Akalanda is the most in intimate and personally powerful goddess becomes because she meets us in the those moments when we can feel most alone, most exposed, and most afraid. She models how to thrive in the midst of change. She uses pain to joyfully, purposefully transform. She sees everything as us as an opportunity to release what isn't serving her. And she knows that being broken isn't a failure or something we should avoid. It, it's actually the whole point. We are here to let our ideas of ourselves go up in flames so that beneath the ashes, the soft core of who we truly are arises. And so that we remember that it's not the heart that never breaks. It's the ego. The heart only ever expands. Soul voice meditation. What heartbreak can I see now as an opportunity to expand? Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become, become only love. Okay. Let me get this other one. Okay, y'all. I'm I'm going. Okay. Ananda Maya Ma, the joy permitted mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. Okay, let's see what this says. Ananda Maya Ma represents the essence of the expansive joy that comes when we remember our true self, Nirmala Sundara, which means beautiful one, in Bengala, was born in the late 19th centuries in what is now Bengala Dish. Her family questions her mental stability because from an early age she was always found in Bhavas or ecstatic states of bliss. At 13, she was married to a man she would later name Bolanak. And he supported her life as a mystic and saint. At 26, Nirmala enacted her own spiritual initiation. The ceremony and rites were spontaneously revealed to her from within. She explained as the master, I revealed the mantra as the dis dis as the disciple. I accepted it and started to recite it in the 1920s. She set up a Kali temple and devoted her life to spiritual practices. She began to be recognized as the living embodiment of divine feminine and as the in incarnation of Kala as divine love. 
her first disciple named her Ananda Maya, my Jor Permediate mother, because her blissful state who inspire others to remember their innate path to joy. Her first ashram was built in 1929. Her profound spiritual teachings begin to attract scholars, philosophers, artists, and other contemporary mystics like Paramanaha Yoganda Nanda. She refused to be called a guru, insisting that we are all ultimately one self. She loved all living creatures exactly the same, including herself. And Amaya Mai gave the red thread to women for this reason, which was a sacred right of bestowing spiritual authorities previously only given to men. There's a passage in autobiography of a yoga by Paramahansa Yogandananda that relates an encounter he had with Anandamaya Ma. He asked her why she is always so filled with joy and can enter states of bliss instantly. She explained to him that she's aware of her true self. She knows that before she came to earth, she was the same as a little girl and later when she grew into a woman. Still, she was the same and now sitting in front of Yoganda Nath, Gandananda, she remains the, na the same and ever and even after death, she says, though the dance of creation changes around me, I shall be the same. This is self-realization merging with the aspect, that aspect within us that never changes. It's becoming conscious of the self, self that is eternal while within this brief mortal existence. And the Naya Maya Ma believe that the only true calling or purpose any of us have is to become realized. And so she believed that any action we take towards that goal is sacred. There's a deep, calm, abiding joy that arrives when we can merge with the aspect of us that never changes. This is a bliss we get to experience every time we detach from the surface storms that cause chaos in our lives. If we can remember that we are the guru, that we are the aspect of the divine that remains the same no matter how much change surrounds us, then we get to arrive at a joy that lives at the core of our being. Soul voice meditation. What does joy feel like in my body? I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. Okay, y'all. It's time to go. I hope you guys have a blessed, blissful day. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys.